Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Steam Squad. It is by Bert Walda Games, released July 28th, which was yesterday, the day I was traveling for millions of miles, well, thousands of miles, to get back home for all of you to enjoy me doing crazy stuff with very little sleep. Yay! It's going to be fine, guys. I can assure you it's going to be okay. Now, I actually was requested by the developer to cover this, I think twice, and unfortunately, I didn't get back to him because of uh, I had to rush out when I had the last email. Anyway, and then uh, our boys from IO Software, who was the creators of Royal Bounty HD, also said, Hey, these guys are our buddies. You should cover this game. So I figured I would cover the game. I checked out some of the screenshots, a little bit of the video of it, and I said, Hey, this looks good. You know what? I'm going to go in blind. I'm going to make a fool of myself, but I'm going to have fun doing it. And hopefully you guys are going to have fun as well. That being said, let's hop in and see what the game has to offer. Start new game. Yeah, I haven't I haven't touched this yet, guys. I don't know what's happening. To aim and fire at a specific point, use Katarl or Control. Control. Ooh, shiny lights. All right, use double. Sorry, use double click left mouse button to perform movement. All right, looks like we have AP. So this is going to be a turn-based strategy game, guys and gals. I know that much. And it looks like we can zoom in, though the zoom is quite slow. I wonder if we can increase that. That's not, like, horrible or anything. Is there other zoom keys? Hold on. I'm going to play around with the keyboard and mouse a little bit here before we get going, guys. i like to see how I can move and what we can do. It looks like this is going to be a game very much in the vein of... Oh, what was that? Um, Silent Storm, which is a pretty good game. So, if it's like that, I'm going to enjoy... Oh, gosh. Oh, I turned. Did I use AP when I turned? Nope. Looks like you can turn and face any direction, and you have a line of sight. All right. So to move up, I guess I'm gonna want to go here behind the sandbags. All right. So I double left click. A soldier can automatically jump over some obstacles. Just move forward. All right. I'm gonna hop over this. I like it. I like it so far. Fog War, you can't see enemies in the fog. Move closer to see them. I don't know if I want to at this point. I don't have much AP left. I'll take a peek around. Alright, here we go. Use double click, double left mouse button click to perform an attack. Alright, action points. AP affects how far a character can move and the number of actions performed during a turn. Uh, change action or attack points. Okay. You can select how many action points your soldier will spend per attack. The more points you spend, the more accurate you shoot. That's pretty cool. So it's going to be 10, 20, or 30, and uh, different accuracies for each one. I like that. That is a really cool, neat little feature. I like that a lot, actually. All right. So I obviously I don't have 30, but if I... No, I would say, is it going to show me how much of a chance I have to hit? Oh, I have 100% chance. 100% accurate. I guess maybe because he's facing the other way? Well, I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah! First blood! I killed him. Alright, click here to end your turn. I will do so. Alright, turn two. I guess they want me to go that way. Uh, next level, climb up the ladder. Alright, do we have to go loot the guy or anything? Nope. And you move around with W, A, S, or D, and I think you can also move around with the arrow keys. Uh-oh. <laughs> move mouse cursor over the soldier area to see his overwatch. Sorry, to see his overwatch area. Okay, that makes sense. If an enemy is active in this area on their turn, the soldier will automatically fire the currently selected weapon. Okay, that makes sense. And I have a hit chance of that. I'm going to go with the 20. That actually didn't increase at all. 78, right? What do we have here? Still 78. Okay, so 1, 2, and 3 changes your... Uh... Wait, now, if I move forward, will I get shot again?
Nope, I only get shot once. Okay, and now I should be able to yeah, have 100% accuracy at this point. What if I go down to one? I still have 100% accuracy. All right, well, we're going to take this enemy out. Ensure that your soldier has enough AP to attack and use the right mouse button to set overwatch. Your soldier will use the remaining available AP to activate currently selected weapon for the enemy turn. Okay. I guess somewhere in that range. And we have enough AP for one more shot. Hey, we took him out. Nice. We are pretty hurt though. Oh, it looks like we healed up, actually, I think. Well, that's the remaining AP there, and our health is not great. Do we have any sort of thing that we... Oh, what is that? We can punch people. We can throw grenades. And we do have a healing kit. I'm curious as to whether or not we should do that, though. I like to follow the tutorial or the uh, starting areas up. Uh, by the letter, you know, how they want you to do it, because obviously they spent the time, energy, and effort to explain how the game works. I feel like it's a, uh, not necessarily a necessary evil, but it's something that we should do, because, I mean, like I said, they spent all the time. Alright, so we're going to have to go down this way. It does not look like we can go that way. I'm going to go here. There's clearly a guy over there. So what I think I want to do, okay. Cycle is currently selected a weapon. And we want to use a med kit. Use double click left mouse button to use the first aid, alright. So we're going to turn our butt to the enemy and we're going to heal ourselves by scratching our knee or something like that, okay. And what I would also like to do is, you know what, we're just going to switch over to this. And we're going to aim this way. I think that's going to be fine. Alright, let's, I guess, end the turn. Use aid kit to heal yourself and allies. Alright. I'm still talking about using the aid kit. I don't... I want to use the grenade. Does it want me to heal more than once, maybe? Alright, I'll heal again until I'm fully healed. Maybe that's what they're wanting. Okay, I, yeah, I guess that's what it was. Alright, so now at this point... I know it's still saying that. Alright, we're going to run over here. We know there's a guy over here. Use grenades to deal more damage. Okay. Can I at least look over this way? Yeah, I can. Alright. Hold down the control key to aim at any position on the ground. Grenade thrown over the shelter will deal more damage. Alright. Okay, here we go. We're going to try it. And we did it. Took that guy out. Like a boss. Now we're going to move slowly down this way. And I believe we're going to switch over to our gun. And we're probably just going to end our turn. Now, if anybody came running around the corner, we would have been in a little bit of trouble there. Use double-click left mouse button to enter equipment. Alright, we shall do so. A metal pillbox. Okay, so we see people over there. Interesting. So we're crouched right now as well. Or we can leave the equipment, alright. And then we can fire that. Or that's it, that's all we can do. Alright, well, let's see how this works. That was pretty cool. We don't have enough AP to do it again. Unless we switch over to this. Alright, I'll go with that. Alright, we'll end our turn. We'll see what's next. This guy's gonna shoot at us. Looks like he missed. We go with uh, the 25 points to make sure he goes down. Alright, and now we can use this button to leave the equipment. Finish. Uh, move here to complete the tutorial. Alright, let's go and finish this up. Mission complete. Well, that's pretty cool. I like it. I gotta say, I'm a fan. 
I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one, guys and gals. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm gonna enjoy this. Alright, so you click after the mission is complete before it goes to the next area. Alright. Let's see, what does the video have here? Steam Squad, 1914 to 2014. Sixth of March, nineteen fourteen. To Nat. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna let you guys read it because it looks like it's gonna be pretty quick. Let you guys enjoy the video. Okay, Moscow to Sardom, surrounding of something another. Okay, wow, we have all sorts of this is interesting. All right, we have letter, letter, murder, ultimatum, war, mobilization, Novgorod, Dominion, tactical map, world map. Okay, Let's start with the letter here. All right, uh, is that? Now, to me, that would be February 5th, 1914, but it could also be May 2nd, 1914, depending on what this is. Alright, recently, we, along with uh, the other Dominion troops, were commanded to gather next to, oh gosh, Arkha Arkhangelsk? Sure. I'm sorry, guys, I will butcher names of things. I, It's a thing that's going to happen, just be aware. Finally, this morning, we begun to march toward Ukhata. Ukhata. Well, I wouldn't call it a march, it's a run. They don't tell me much because I'm just a captain, but I know that Ukhta is a new outpost for us in the war against, and I've tried to figure out how to say this, Tyanixia? Tyanixia? I don't know. Tienskia? I, I got nothing. All right, dear Catherine, or Catherine, uh, Catherine? I don't know. I write these letters and hide them in the bottom of my bag where they wait for their day to meet you. It's all constantly changing here. I hope I'll have enough time to send them to you. My one true love. Alright, then we have another letter over here. We have seized Usogorsk. Sure. Usogorsk? Still, it's very unstable here. Urgently recruited uh, freshers who have never smelled real smoke and steam in their entire lives. And they are shaking in fear. Nevertheless, the spirits are up. We'll beat to the dams. Hans up. Sure. Everybody thinks the same but me. As far as I can see, we would need to be blessed to su to successfully flee. Sorry about that, folks. Interruptions, as always. All right. Uh, I am sitting in front of the window and observing. Huge boilers are trundling along a battered road. Tomorrow we shall battle in a border town. I despise these kinds of battles the most ever since the experiences of the smaller campaigns. Okay. Uh, what do they mean by beneath the sky in the end? The sky is shared, isn't it? Dear God, please save us. Murder. All right, let's see what's going on here. Tianexian ambassador was shot in Moscowia yesterday. The murder was supposedly committed by D. Gavrilin, I. Ferdinand, and D. Franc, who were members of the terrorist group English Principle. All the suspects are dead. Moscowia has launched an official police investigation. Ultimatum. Tianaxia, Tianaxia, whatever, issued an ultimatum with regards to the murder of Ambassador Hong Xin. Moscowia is willing to make concessions. However, the request to launch a joint investigation with Tianaxian government cannot be satisfied because it would insult the Moscowian sovereignty. 
Sure. War. All right, what are we looking at here? Um, Han's army mobilized. Moscowia didn't satisfy all requests mentioned in the ultimatum. This resulted in Tianaxia's mobilization, and on the 6th of April, they entered the Moscowian lands. Mobilization. British army mobilized by order of the king, by the Cam Kalmar Union Agreement. Britain is getting ready to support Moscowia against Tianaxia. Tianaxia. Uh, Novgorod Dominion will direct its troops toward Moscowia in the near future. Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to figure out how to say it. It's fine. I will butcher. It'll be fine. Uh, Novgorod uh, Dominion troops march toward that place. Arkhangelsk. What? Arkhangelsk. A review of the troops will be held on the 1st of March in Arkhangelsk. Following the review, the squads will begin their march toward Ukhta where they will meet the Tanaxian army. Here's the tactical map. All right, we have one, that thing, an A, and then two arrows. I don't know what that means. And we'll check the world map, cool. Kill all the attackers. So that was a lot of stuff we probably didn't need to read, but I wanted to show it off anyway. And by read, I mean butcher horribly, but we're accepting this mission. And wouldn't you know it, we have a ginormous chunk of people we can choose from, which is pretty cool. All right, I uh, recruit recruited soldiers on zero out of nine hundred points. So, oh, okay, they have a point cost. Okay, you're a machine gunner. You have one hundred fifteen plus five and forty five AP. One hundred thirteen plus five and forty five. So you are better. Okay, I'm going to recruit you, Nikolay Zakurum Enevich. Sure, the squad. What kind of equipment do you have, buddy? Oh, we can... Oh, that's pretty neat. How do I get out of this? Close equipment. Cool. All right, so we have that. Uh, an infantry soldier, a machine gunner. How about another infantry who's better or worse? So we have a machine gunner. We have a mortar gunner. Another infantry here. Mortar, 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 machine, mortar, machine, infantry. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. I think I'm going to want to go with two machine gunners. So we have Nikolay. He's there. Uh, let's see. We can get this guy here. Theodore Holgerson. Alright, so we got two of those. We will need some infantry. We have 74. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with the 74 in infantry. To squad. Another one, to squad, and then our mortar fire guy. I believe that's probably going to be how we want to do this. Is anybody, like, super good compared to who we have? No? Nope, doesn't seem to. Well, you know what? This guy's actually not bad. He's infantry. We're going to remove you. Sorry, Roar, Strug, whatever your name is. We're going to get you. We're going to get Tommy Mac Leoid and Igor Chernayev. Yaev, I, I got nothing. All right, and finally, ladies and gentlemen, our mortar gunner is going to be this guy. I can't even print Dianil Horne? Horne? I, uh, it's whatever. All right, equipment. Can, oh, we can equip different things. All right, so you have that. You have ammo. Is this extra points? It is. Okay, some more ammo. You have armor, you have nothing there. You have three, five of those, okay. And we can give you a falchion. Shouldn't that be a falchion with a C? I think so. It's all right. Um, you have a machine gun. I don't really think you need anything else. Let's see, armor-wise, we already have the helmet, okay. And items, a wrench. What do we need a wrench for? First aid kit, I mean, maybe we can do one. Or aid kit, and then the first aid kit will do, is that smaller? Why is 25 minus 50, why is that smaller? Orange is zero. Why is it more expensive? Oh, it's not, okay. We can only have three of those deployed, okay, I gotcha. 
I get you. All right, so that's cool. Let's close your equipment. Let's go to you. Let's make sure you have everything you do. All right, we're going to go with Igor over here. And what kind of weapons do we have for you, buddy? With that, I'm okay with all these things. Let's go to the armor. We have that, okay. Let's go here. We'll give you one grenade. We'll give you one of these. Oh, that actually sets us over. Okay, well, we're going to remove one of those. Can we do this one? Nope, that sets us over as well. Okay, well, then I think what we're going to do is close equipment. We'll go to you, and we will give you a grenade. Is that going to put us over? It will, too. All right, well, I guess that's that, then. Let's just see what you have, friend. You have that weapon. You do not have an actual weapon. So why don't we give you a knife? Yeah, we can go with that. All right, that's it. All right, I'm probably making all sorts of mistakes, guys and gals. I don't know. Like I said, this is all brand new to me. To aim and fire at a specific point, use control. So, again, I am learning as I go. I'm sure you guys will be laughing hysterically, not just from my horrible pronunciation, but for many other reasons as well. All right, so people are randomly getting shot at over here. All right, so you're an ally. Where, where are we at over here on the little mini-map? Okay, so you're there. You're our mortar fire guy. And we're going to have people coming from... It's supposed to be these two spots. Kill all the attackers. Alright, so you are there. Can you see over the wall? Oh, it looked like this guy was able to shoot. Oh, we can... Oh, that seems pretty cool. Why don't we enter that, then? That seems pretty legit. Alright, you're our mortar specialist. Okay. Is there a way to get behind cover? I don't know how far he can shoot. Oh, cool. It has a little action sequence. Oh, that was neat. I like that. Do we have any other cool emplaced weapons or anything like that? No? Alright, I guess we're going to come over here. So see him run on over there? I... Imagine you can potentially turn this off if this bothers you. I think it's cool. I like it. I've always enjoyed that. It probably would get tedious after a while. I don't know if it's going to be every time or what, but just something to consider, I guess. All right, going to move over there with him. Going to climb on down and get into position. Okay, so they do definitely see over the edges. That's cool. I think what I might want to do is maybe move this guy over there. I don't know. Let's move him as far as we can, I guess, and then we'll end our turn. Can I make it down there? Oh, I can. Sweet. Let's get in there. Oh, I can't make it down there. All right, whatever. All right, let's end the turn and see what happens. All right, so the enemy's going to show up. We pull out his gun. Oh gosh, what did he just do? Wow, he murdered that one dude. That was crazy. You guys see that? He fired like a, a I don't know, like a firework at us and it just shot over and blew up right on top of our people. Uh, I guess our allies are moving. Nope, it's still the enemy. I think we just lost one of our guys. I feel like we did. All right, so we have, we have you. Have you? What happened to this guy? Oh, he died. Okay. All right. Let's 
can we shoot you? Not really. I'm gonna try it though. Oh, we clipped them. That was kind of fun. I want to do it again. Oh, not enough AP. Oh, well, that made me a little sad. All right, that's cool though. How far can we mortar with him? Target is too far. We need 35 to mortar. All right, we'll waddle on over here with him. And yeah, it says the target's still too far. That's sad. Well, I'm gonna try to hide behind this thing then, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Are we actually behind the cover or not? Alright, well, we're gonna try shooting him. I think we clipped him. What if we upped our ante here a little? Another clipping. Didn't actually do any real damage to him. Alright. Who do we have left? We have you. He'll probably get the shot off. Yeah, he did. Alright, sweet. So that guy's down. Take a shot at this guy. Took him out too. Cool. Alright, well, let's see what's next. I'm not doing super well, guys and gals, but it's okay for now, I guess. This guy's nearly crippled and killed. This guy's just running straight on down. I guess he's gonna try to flank? This dude's super hurt, but nobody seems to have a shot left. They're just both kind of going over there. Now, that's not the most ideal situ ooh, ideal situations. Did he actually clip the guy? No, he missed my mortar specialist. Okay. My mortar man. Alright, we have any more guys come? Oh, here comes another one. Oh, he's just gonna run right on up in there. Oh, he missed too. Some scary stuff coming our way, boys and girls. Alright, so first things first, we have all the people randomly shooting. I would very much like to land on you. Alright, we're firing. I hope we hit here, here, and the guy in the back. We actually did a pretty good job there. Alright. And we should be able to mortar you, right? Yeah, we should be able to. I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. Boom. And boom. Go. Oh no, it hit a tree. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. We can't go inside these places? Nope. Well, we tried that. It didn't work. We have a zero hit chance, huh? Well, let's take the guaranteed hit chance then instead. Well, not guaranteed. 48%. But it's still not terrible, right? Oh, where's our other guy? He's over here. Alright, I'm going to try to move over this way and see if we can't get a shot on this guy. Looks like we've got it. Alright, so I'll take that shot. It's not enough to finish him though. Which means now we're left with our boy here. I 
And anywhere we move, we're not going to be able to shoot. So maybe there. Alright, see if we move here, maybe we can hit the guy across the other way or something. Still no chance to hit him. This guy, no, still can't hit him either. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what happens, folks. Let's see what happens. This is a, definitely a fun game. I like it. Oh, we're getting grenaded. Wow, he just did some weird evil incantation there. Dude did well hiding behind that tree. Well, either way, it looks like we should be good to kill this group right now. So, taking it. Enjoy! Killed all but the last one. Let the let the good uh, mortar specialist here take this guy out. Get him, man! Get him! Boom! All right. So I definitely need to use Overwatch more. I I am aware of this, and there's a few other things I could have done better. But overall, I learned some stuff that time around. Hopefully, you guys were okay with that. All right. So Igor, you're not around anymore, buddy. I do apologize for that. Who else did we get killed? You're fine. Nikolai, you're there. Nikolai, I guess. Alright, so I think we got both of our infantry killed. Yeah, we did. They also had the least amount of uh, HP, so let's see how much damage we did with each guy here. 471 enemies. He definitely took up a good spot. He destroyed four enemy soldiers. He damaged seven of them. He gained 25 experience. Good old Tommy died. Let's see. He damaged three enemy soldiers. He destroyed two. Um, he did 223 damage to enemies. He gained 16 experience, but he did end up dying. Well, it is what it is. Then we go take a look at a good old Theodore over here. He's rocking, uh, or Theodor, if you were. Uh, he's rocking two damage to enemy units. He killed one. He got 10 experience for that. And then, of course, our Mortar Specialist himself. He only damaged one enemy unit, got 9 experience, and that is that. Now, it looks like we could try it again if we wanted to, or we could continue on. I'm going to hit continue, but we're about out of time. In fact, we're not about out of time. We are out of time, and I am going to break off the episode right here. I hope you guys had some fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video. Ah. <sighs> 20 seconds, guys, is all I needed. All I needed to get through this without another interruption. It's okay. That's okay. Anyway, stick around the channel, guys and gals. There'll be more Steam Squad coming. I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you guys in the very near future. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.